After this, Jesus appeared to his disciples again. It was by the Sea of Galilee, and here is what happened. Simon Peter and Thomas, who was also called Didymus, were there together. Nathaniel from Cana in Galilee, and the sons of Zebedee were with them, and two of the other disciples. Simon Peter said, what do you think he said? Do you think he said, I'm going to jump on you all. Boing, 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 boing. Do you think he did that? No. No. Do you think he said, I'm going to jump high in the air? Boing. <coughs> do you think he did that? <coughs> and he said, he was a fisherman, so what do you think he said? That's fishing. I'm going out to fish. Simon Peter said, and they said, we'll go with you. So they went oh, out donkey. and got a boat, went out and got into the boat, and they all went into the boat. And that night they went fishing. And that night they didn't catch anything. Early in the morning, Jesus stood on the shore. But the disciples did not realise it was Jesus. Who's that guy over there? I don't know, who's that? Who's that? Who's that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, he called out to Jesus called out to them. What do you think he said? Do you think he said, Oi! You're idiots! <laughs> do you think he said that? <laughs> or do you think he threw shoes at them? <laughs> do you think he threw shoes at them? No! No. He said, friends! Don't you have any fish? And no, they answered. He said, what do you think he said? He said, jump out of the boat and you'll get lots of fish that way. Do you think he said that? No. <laughs> no, do you think he said, put your hands in the water and get, get, grab fish from there? No. no, he said, throw your net on the right side of the boat. There you will find some fish. So they put their nets on the other side. And when they did, they could not pull the net into the boat. There were so many fish on it. Whoa, look at all the fish. There were so many fish. Ah. Mm. Then the disciple Jesus loved said to Simon Peter, It's the Lord. As soon as Peter heard that, he put his coat on. Oh, his coat. Put his coat on. Oh. Put his coat on. He had taken it off earlier. Then he jumped into the water. Ooh, splosh! <laughs> and the other disciples followed in the boat. They were towing the net full of fish. The shore was only about a hundred yards away. When they landed, they saw a fire burning. Oh, there's a fire. There were fish on it, and there was also some bread. Jesus said to them, bring some of the fish that you've collected. <laughs> so there's some fish. <laughs> bring some of the fish you've just caught. And Simon Peter climbed into the boat, and he dragged the net to the shore. It was full of large fish. There were... 153 of them, but even with that many fish, the net was not torn. Jesus then said to them, what do you think Jesus said to them? Do you think he said, go away and jump in the water? Do you think he said that? No. He I said, know. come. He pointed them over. No, he didn't point them over. He said, come, <laughs> he come and have breakfast did. with me. None of the disciples dared to ask him, who are you? Hello. They knew, they knew it was Hi. the Lord. Jesus came, took the bread, and gave it to them. He did the same thing with the fish. And this was the third time Jesus appeared to his disciples after he was raised from the dead. And this is a story from the Bible from John chapter 21, verses 1 to 14.